so as we discussed a step to execute a high level programming language so general programmers will follow this kind of flow chart so where high level language source code will provide to the language compiler and compiler will generate object file and then object file will be connected to the linker and loader so after all the completion of the process the program will be executed uh, uh, generally and then this is the translation process translation process that is the source program intermediate language and object program so translation process will follow these kind uh, these three phases source program we are saying source program it is a general source code so the basic translation process is identical for both interpreter and compiler second terms is that uh, source code goes through various stages and is converted into intermediate language and third one is for uh, from this final object code is generated which can be optimized as we discussed in previous slide so object file will be generated through the loader and linker part so this is the translation process is divided into the three steps source code intermediate code and object code and we are uh, considering all the steps all the stages in detail so first stage is called lexical analyzer lexical analyzer is the initial phase of compilation process generally it takes source code or any kind of code and read character one by one at a time then lexical analyzer will convert into the leximus part after that second phase is second syntax analysis syntax analysis generally it takes yeah or it generally generates the token as input and generates a parse tree as output the parser checks that the expression is syntactically correct or not and then semantic analyzer semantic analyzer sometimes it checks whether the parse tree is uh, just following the rules of languages or not so semantic uh, semantic analyzer can reject all the things so semantic analyzer generally checks the rules of any kind of programming language uh, sometimes we are talking about the code optimization Co code optimization the code optimization it is used to improve intermediate code so that the output of the program could run faster and take less space so, uh, in terms of the uh, take less space it means the hard drive portion the portion of this it sometimes the programmer can use this kind of code optimization so code optimization the uh, optimization generally follow the intermediate code code generation this is the final stage of compilation process it takes the optimized intermediate code and map it to the target machine language code gen uh, code generation sometimes it just mapping mapping in the programming languages and mapping from the code generation so we can see the previous slide in previous slide code op uh, code optimization is directly connected to the code generation so this is the complete optimization process this is the actual phases of compilation or we we can say this is the complete phases of a translator any translator to translator source program first thing uh, we can see the source program is generated through the programmer and then lexical analyzer or lexical analysis terms will be applied to the source code after that lexical tokens will be generated through lexical analysis and directly gives to the syntactic analysis syntactic analysis it creates a particular meaning it creates a particular meaning through the through the parse tree syntactic and semantic analysis these are the major part of any programming languages parse tree will follow the expression uh, expression of any programming language after that intermediate code intermediate code to the optimization code and then code generation code code generation in terms of the optimization intermediate code after that object code will be generated to the linking code and then object code from the other compliances after the in between executable code will be created so these are the compilation phases of the compilation object code generation and phases and all the tokens will come from the symbol table and other table so all token detail will be saved in symbol table so this is the actual phases of compilation we can say this is the compilation and loading part of any program so we can use uh, c c++ java and python any kind of languages so compilation process will be the same this is the common process this is the major process 
so we have to understand before uh, before doing any kind of program so we have to understand this kind of flow chart so this is very important for examination purpose so thank you so much